I don't feel no scared to say it now because he has already admitted to one of the brothers being here with him when he was out in the world. Yeah, yeah. I was there too. Amen. But I also coming into the ministry and going through school, Bible college, I can remember the times that I would turn on the TV and see Reverend Davis here preaching the word of God. And it's a pleasure to be in the house and pastor. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Then my nephew Daryl, I, I didn't know he could sing. <laughs> and one of the ministers here told me, said, Oh, here you come. And I was trying to figure out what he was talking about. He said, Here you come. Play the drum. And he sing. And I said, this I got to see for myself. <laughs> now I seen Daryl. Daryl been over to the church. And said he couldn't do nothing but play the drum. <laughs> and I found out something different here today. So thanks to this church and thanks to Pastor Davis and thank you, Daryl, for finding that you wanted me to come and do this men's day service. And you thank, uh, you thank people because, just because you are family. Amen. Amen. How, how many know that your life has to line up with what you teach and preach? Amen. 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 And I thank God when I was out in the world, I was out in the world. Amen. Amen. I was on the good foot. Now that I'm in the Lord's house, I'm on both feet. <laughs> Amen. So, listen, I, I know that you all don't like to be in church long. And I'm not going to be long with you, but I'm going to be right with you if I can. Yes, and certainly me, and I thank you. I, you know what? The, let, the, 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 the Spirit works together in this thing. Amen. And I, I, I saw your theme, and I 
It was my intentions I, to do the thing, but the Lord said no. Uh -huh. I, I learned to be obedient to the Lord. Amen. And, but I, I didn't know this morning, nobody told me, Daryl didn't tell me, but I just decided to put on black and gold. Then when I got to the church, I sit down, past the head, black and gold. Brothers coming all in the office, black and gold. <laughs> and I said to one of the brothers, I said, what is your all's color? He said, black and gold. And I said, well, I feel right at home. I'm not black and gold. We're not going to be long with this. I'm going to read the scripture in a minute here, but do we want to pray. If y'all now, now, I heard the pastor get up and say, What is his name? Jesus. What's the highest prayer? Hallelujah. That's where I want you, right there. If I'm saying, if I'm preaching the word, I want you to say hallelujah. hallelujah. See, hallelujah make us get out fast. I have two numbers here. <laughs> Deacon Blunt is here with me today, and my, yeah, my nurse, uh, Sister Pamela Buggs, is here with yeah, us man. also. And Amen. now you're going to hear them say, Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Amen. Because they know that would get them out of church early. <laughs> Amen. 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 So if you hear them kind of loud, Hallelujah, preach, they just doing it, so I quit this thing here. <laughs> Let us pray, Father God, in Jesus' name, we come at this hour to say thank you. Thank you because you've been good, you've been kind, you've been yes. merciful yes. to us. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for giving me another day yes. that I have not seen before. Yes. Yes. But thank you, Lord, for using me once again to stand behind your sacred desk yes. just to give the word of God. Yes. Lord, we thank you now for all these that are here, those that are not here, for whatever reason there may be, we ask you to bless. Now, Lord, while I'm from my pulpit, bless the Crusaders Baptist Church right now in the name of Jesus. Bless this pastor and his household in Jesus' name. Amen. My wife uh, wanted to be here with me this morning, and she told me to tell you all that uh, her church comes first. And she had some things to do over there. She teach new membership class, and we had some folks to join. Amen. So she had to go by this morning and teach new membership class. Amen. 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 Now I, I I probably preach this a little different than I, I usually preach. Amen. Uh, but I, I there are some things that I want to point out in this message, amen, amen. amen, that I'm going to preach today. Now I'm going to read all ten verses and then we're going to just look at a few verses because I believe that's where God is talking to us from. Amen. Is that all right? all right? Acts the third chapter, you probably, I know your pastor has preached it several times, amen. The problem being is that he had not invited me here to preach it. Is that all right? And I'm sure that God going to bring something different out of me that he brought out that he didn't bring out of Pastor David. Not that he didn't preach it, but God gives us new revelation every time we turn to the scriptures. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just trying to get y'all warmed up. You know that. Yeah, yeah. You, you act like you ain't supposed to. Say nothing with a guest press. <laughs> Take your time, Doc. The third chapter of the book of Acts, it says, Now Peter and John went up to the together into the temple at the ninth hour of prayer. Amen. Being the ninth hour. A certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful. Yes, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple as and on, Peter fastened his eyes upon him, but John said, Look on us. Uh -huh. He gave heed to them, expecting to receive something of them. Yes. Then Peter said, Civil and gold have I none, yes, but such as I have, I give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up. 
and walk. He took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and his ankle bones received strength. And leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was he which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were, listen to this now, and they were, now listen to this, this is the church, my brothers. Amen. Listen what it says. And they knew that it was he which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with the wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. That's the church. That's the church. Now before I get to the church, let, let me go back up and pick up some scriptures here. To encourage the men today, I looked at a piece of scripture in Romans. It ought to encourage us and bless our hearts in Romans chapter 8. It says, so God predestinate. He also called. For those he called, he justified. For those he justified, he glorified. Then what can we say of all of these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? And in spite of all that you've done out there, all the mistakes that we made, I've still been called. And because of Calvary, uh -huh. I've been justified. Oh, yeah. And he already promised me yeah. that I'll be glorified. Yeah. Now, I want you to understand here that we, we make mistakes sometimes. Yeah. Even yeah. though we are in Christ, oh, yeah. we yeah. make mistakes. Right. Yeah. But thank be to God. Whether yeah. you forgive me or not, yeah. won't God forgive you? Yeah. and let the brothers know that hey sometimes we we fall yeah. God don't count how many times you fall yeah. you want to know how many times you're going to get up yeah. we're all human here yeah. am I right about this yeah. we're all human and I heard the pastor say something this morning every time a brother get down we're not supposed to step on him yeah. but let him get up because Peter and John was able to work together. Yeah. They were different, but they was able to work together. Oh, yeah. Peter was a leader, and Peter was very outspoken. Oh, yeah. he, he didn't mind speaking up for different things. Yeah. Then he had John, who was a man of action. Yeah. And what they did was they put the two together. Yeah. John outspoken, Peter with action, and they were able to conquer some things through the Lord. Amen. Amen. Peter and John here, they're on a missionary trip. They're over to Jerusalem now. And here, 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 I, I can't understand that. But 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 you you got church folks uh -huh. going in the temple. Uh -huh. like, like some of us, I didn't say you all, I'm like some of us. Yeah, yeah. We, we see beggars and what we do is we, we sometimes we just give them a dollar. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just to get them out of our way. Come on now. Am I right about it? Yeah. But, but, but let's define beggar. Uh -huh. A beggar, there are two types of beggars. Amen. There, there's one that asks for what they want. Uh -huh. And then there's one yeah. that asks hoping that they get what they need. Yeah. Are y'all not praying with me? Yeah. And we know that God supplies all of our needs. Y'all with me so far? Y'all yeah. with me so far? I think y'all rushing me to get out of here. <laughs> but then I looked at verse 2 and verse 2 says 
that there was a, a, a man lame from his mother's womb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they carried him. Think, think of it now. They, 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 they carried him to Mount Zion. And they sent him out front. And I wonder if there was a lame man that was sent out front. How many would offer him Jesus other than a God? A lot of you dressed up and you probably would come in and say they sit him out here every Sunday. And, and I'm going to give him a dollar. Amen. Don't want him talking to me. Don't want him to say anything. But I'm going to give him a dollar just so I can get in the house of the Lord. But here Peter and John was, was willing to offer this man not money, nothing but Jesus. And that's what we ought to do a lot. Yeah, yeah. Pastor David. 
witness would just get up and say, tell your soul, you know you got a story that will make yourself happy. And not only make yourself happy, but it'll make somebody else's happy. Because they know that if God done it for you, he's no respectable person. He'll do it for me anyway. Am I right about that? There's a story behind my preaching. You can see it in a moment because when you read this, you really don't see the
walking and leaping yeah, yeah. up in here. Yeah, right. This yeah. brother can't answer because he in amazement. Uh -huh. I'm amazed uh -huh. that he got my last dollar this morning. Yeah. And now he up in the church showing off. Yeah. Ain't that just like the Lord? Yeah, yeah. If you keep trusting in the Lord,
day we have prayer, one day the phone just buzzed. That's all right. That means I had a text. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I opened the text, Daryl had sent me a picture. Uh -huh. <laughs> sent me a picture where he said, Pastor, I'm walking. Hey, I'm walking. God gave him strength yeah. in his anchor bone. Yeah. Gave him strength yeah. in his leg. Yeah. Blessed his heart yeah. because whatever you done, you kept on trusting the Lord. Yeah. I just thought I would tell you yeah. that every now and then, yeah. just think about your story. Yeah. Just think about how it could have been. Downstairs. Uh, before we leave, we're going to bless the food and then we're going to go on down. I'll just do the benediction right now. Now, unto him who is able to keep us from falling, to the one who's able to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. And also, God, please bless us, we're about to receive and nourishment of our bodies in Christ's name's sake. That's my pastor. We said, The Holy Supper's name, Kevin, need what so we share with another's need. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, room, and abide, and be with us for now and forevermore. And all the saints present, saying.